we are in Brighton. That's right, we've been living in Brighton for the past three months and wanted to share with you all the beautiful places that we've seen and our experience. Let's get into it. We were staying around Hove and Argentin. It's literally in front of the sea, so we just need to walk down there. And this is a normal day. Look at this beautiful view. This is around 3 to 4 p.m. and sometimes it will look like this. As you can see, everyone is on the beach. The couples, the friends, the dogs, running around, the kids. Everyone holding a bottle of wine or a beer and that's how you spend the evening. Look on your right, they are actually the winter swimmer ladies club. Living in Brighton, you got to enjoy the sunset, just relax right after work and sitting by the sea. Some days it will be this beautiful. Another thing you can do is to sit at your beach hut. How luxe. This is the area where we were staying, close to the Airbnb. They have a small supermarket, a very cute coffee shop, some little shops around the high street. This is mom's favorite cafe. If you want to work there, don't go at 1 p.m. They also have a forest just next to it. This studio organized weekend creative workshop. How cute is that? Now we are closer to Hove. Essentially, it's more vibrant than the area where we were staying. There's many more restaurants with Italian, Asian and Middle Eastern food, more coffee shops and even the grocery options is much more than where we were staying by the sea. Probably because it's closer to Brighton, so more residents is around the area and it's more development. This is one of the brewery bar me and Jordan enjoy going in there. The vibe is good, it's a small shop, everyone is quite close to each other. And it's one of our local. So coffee shop like this is pretty much all over in Brighton and it's super cute. I would love to try every single restaurant and cafe. But living in Brighton is actually quite expensive. So I choose some other activities. Walking by the seaside is one of our favorite things to do. You can just look at people and have a really nice walk. There's many things you can do. You can play volleyball, table tennis or rent a bike. Or if you like, you can even skate. I guess this is a lifestyle living in Brighton. People just enjoy so much doing things around the beach. They're playing petong every weekend. Even people are not playing it, we're just watching it. What about roller skating Sunday? Is that your cup of tea? Hey, otherwise it's pretty chill. You can just stay on the beach. This got to be our favorite things to do, just to walk from Hove to Brighton, enjoy the sunlight, enjoy everything that's happened by the seaside. Because every time you walk past, it seems to be different. I have to show you the center of Brighton, where all the little stalls, small businesses located. This is one of my favorite shops. They have home decals, paintings, stationeries. They all look super cute. I'm not a big fan of sweets or candies or anything. But this fudge, I feel like I really should try it. Um, they're basically just made with um, sugar and milk. So sweet. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite independent fashion brand, Lucy and Yak. The organic and colorful dungaree is just a signature. This tiny street probably is one of my favorites around the area. Now we're entering another street in North Lane. This record store is one of the most popular one. People queue up for mini gigs every weekend. Also, there's a lot of charity store in Brighton. All right, after wandering around, I'm tired. So let's sit down and have some food. These quiche are so good. They are made by the local bakery. People are queuing outside, so I wonder what's good. While you eat it, you can also oversee this kite surf. Looks fun. Otherwise, I would just sit under the sun and have a read. 
Alright, this part is for all the digital nomads. If you are looking for a workspace, Platform 9 might be the perfect place for you. We didn't work there for every day, but we came for the comedian night and it was pretty fun. They organize regular events for all the members, so it's kind of like a community. I don't know why I'm taking videos in a bathroom, but it just looks so good. Another cool place to go and work is Tea at Hove. It's in Hove area and it's just so good. Not to mention the coffee, but the food is truly incredible. We had amazing brunch on that day and we worked there. Lastly, I want to show you our Airbnb. It looks so luxe. All the houses in Brighton. Walking in the house is pretty simple. One bedroom, really, really bright room. And when you walk outside, you can also see the sea and a lot of trees around. So it was pretty good. And you can also sit outside when it's sunny. But when we were in Brighton, it was actually in the winter time from November to January. And also we realized that it's actually quite expensive. Even though we love it so much, it's super bright and we think it's the best place to have a family. In terms of cost, we pay £1,400 a month for our flat and bus ticket is five pound every trip so maybe not now but in the future see you later brighton